I think you need to be someone who's fascinated by the STEM subjects, that enjoys maths, enjoys science, and has a real passion for doing things, fixing things, mending things. Um, so, so something they're really quite passionate about, love, love working with their hands perhaps, um, who also like working in teams with people. So great, someone with great communication skills, um, someone who loves analysing problems um, and, and really quite detail focused. With our engineering training program, as an 18 year old coming out with two A-levels, the starting salary is, is 22,800. It, it's, it's massive when you think that a graduate coming out after four or five years, it's, you know, they're looking at salaries of 24,750 or 25,750, you know, and they get the degree paid for them, which is fantastic. So those opportunities are there within National Grid and within a load of um, different other organisations across the country. So you know, for us, for National Grid, we're very focused on electrical engineers, very focused on mechanical engineers, civil engineers, chemical engineers. Um, but there's a whole range, you know, very key at the moment is environmental engineering. Um, so really those are the avenues through for you is to start and that's why I suppose the message is quite key when you're at school is make sure you start in the right direction because if, if you don't get your GCSEs there's always a way of, uh, you know, of going back and restudying but what you're effectively doing is extending that period of time and as I said earlier that's a very small amount of time that you need to, to study hard um, to really set your career in the right direction. Um, so those are the main subjects. So you know, even, those that, even though those, those disciplines may be really difficult for you and may not be something you would naturally choose, I'd really encourage you to go down that route because it just leaves those options open to you later so that you can make that decision and move off into other directions. We have, um, with specifically within the National Grid, but again, this is very similar across a lot of organisations, we will be bringing people in from you know, five GCSEs right through to their degree level. They'll typically be moving into field type roles, so they might be coming out after their three years training as a craftsperson working at one of our substations, for instance, where they're responsible for the maintenance of that substation, ensuring that it operates, um, to literally working on overhead lines, to um, becoming a technical expert who's inv involved in um, trying to predict what the future demand is for energy, for instance, um, or can be involved in manufacturing where they're looking at new components and new processes.